What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a product review on this external PS4 fan. Now as you guys know that my PS4 wasn't working right a couple months ago. I opened it up, cleaned it, and ever since, even though I know it is clean, it is still running hot at times. And this here is supposed to just plug into the back connect it with a power cord and whenever it reaches a certain temperature it is supposed to cool the ps4 down and turn on or i think there's an option that you can just turn it on and leave it on and it is supposed to be silent so i wanted to try it out on amazon this item is $19.99 but i got mine through wish for i think it's $13.99 so not much of a difference i don't expect there to be much difference in the quality either so i'm just going to take you over to my ps4 and we're going to try this out and see if it actually works. I'm hoping it does, and I think I'll get really good use out of it. Okay, so I have my PS4 right here. It's ready, already turned on, and it's sitting like this because it is supposed to plug into the back. So I have the fan here. Let's give it a try, make sure it does fit. First of all, just like that. It fits pretty snug. It does look authentic. It does look like it actually came from Sony, how it lines up perfectly there. So now let's just make sure it works. The power cords right here it does look a little bit short, but let's give it a try. So I'm assuming it plugs in here, which it does. And I'm just going to plug it into the front, make sure that it does reach. And it does. So right away, it is in the off position. And if I put it into auto, if the PS4 is at the certain temperature, it's automatically going to run. And if I leave it in the auto position, whenever it reaches that temperature, it is going to automatically turn on. And whenever it is not and cools down, it will automatically turn off. So let's just see if it's at that temperature and turn it on. Okay, so in auto position, like I said, it is working. And I've already told you guys that my PS4 sometimes does run hot. So right now the fan is running on it. But I'm going to switch it over to on, make sure that position does work. And it does. So both auto and on position work. Like I said, in auto, it is going to stay on whenever it's at that temperature. And whenever it cools down, it's automatically going to shut off. So really quick, there is a turbo button. Let's just see if that does do it. And it does. It does make the fans run a little bit faster. It is working. It's almost like the exhaust because all the hot air is blowing out of the back right now. So it does work, but let me just turn it off here. And let me just disconnect this part. Leave it plugged in. And I'm just going to show you that the fans work. So if I turn it on, all five fans are running. It is isn't too much air right here blowing or anything like that but it seems like it's just enough to make it work in turbo position they run a little bit faster there's a lot more air there so it does work a hundred percent like it's supposed to let me just plug it back in i just want to test one more thing if i do click click it into the auto position can I also turn the turbo on? And you can. So you can automatically have it set whenever it reaches that temperature to turn your turbo on automatically. So this here, I'm going to be using quite a bit. I think I'm going to leave it in the auto position. I don't think I'm going to leave the turbo on though. I think I'm just going to leave the regular position on. And I'm going to use it for a couple days and make sure it works. But as of right now, I think it's a buy. So this was my PS4 fan that I recently got from Wish. Honestly, it works pretty well. I'm going to use it for a couple days, but right now I'm going to say it is worth the purchase. Honestly, I didn't buy it off of Amazon. $20 off of Amazon. To me, that is still worth it. But I got it off of Wish because I wanted to do a Wish unboxing at the same time. So I got it a little bit cheaper through Wish. I do recommend it. It is working right here in front of me. And I think it's going to stay working for a while. It just plugs in. It's really simple, really basic. And it is pretty cheap for what you get. And hopefully it will solve my problem with my PS4 overheating. Not, I guess not really overheating, but it is running hot at times. So hopefully it solves that issue. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.